Now, these two words stuck, as you can imagine. Because he liked the England, he liked the fish and chips, and he liked the beer, and he liked the women and everything. And so he came to regard these two words as being signs of affection, bonhomie, and hands across the sea. Anyway, this little French number that I'm going to sock to you now um, was based around what little old Jean-Pierre Higginbottom managed to pick up whilst he was here. And uh, if anybody does speak French in the audience, it's called Quand je me promène dans la rue, which is Swazi French for as I'm walking down the street. <laughs> Je me promène dans la rue, toutes les femmes disent poussant. Avec mon parapluie sur mon bras, toutes les femmes disent poussant. Je suis heureux quand je traverse la rue, et les Anglais, j'aime beaucoup. But at the Purbeck, White Horse, and all pubs beyond Bell, these are for Christ's sake poussant. Now, old Jean-Pierre Higginbottom was a bit older than I was, and he fought in the Great War in the Free French Swaziland Army, which consists of him and his dad. <laughs> anyway, there they were in the Great Western Desert, and eventually, after four years, him and his dad managed to kick old Rommel out of the desert. And eventually, there was old Jean-Pierre Higginbottom, and his dad in Alexandria with four years back pay and four weeks leave. Well, you can imagine, can't you, Swanage? Four years and he had never seen a woman. Just camels and panzers and things. And if you get tangled up with a panzer, you know about it. So what do you think he did? Of course he did. He, he went to the nearest house of horizontal refreshment. I mean, who are we to blame him? It was the war. And he got tucked up with this Arab lady called Fatima, who'd been earning a living in this dubious fashion for about 25 years. She's about 30. Anyway, there they were as one. It's a lovely expression, isn't it? Would you like to be as one, darling? Anyway, there they were as one. Yeah. And just at that very instant, just at that very instant, there was a German destroyer heading towards Sicily just as fast as it could go, with Captain Angus Stahlenboat on the bridge. And this poor soldier anyway, was the last destroyer left, and he had one little shell left in his armory. Nothing big, you understand, nothing that was going to alter the course of the war, but he thought, sod it, in German, he thought. <laughs> They thought, I shall fire this as a gesture, a sort of knackers to Monty. <laughs> and he said to his crew, Put the shell in the bridge! Do as you're bleeding well told! Because he'd learned to speak English in Swanage too, you see. <laughs> anyway, they put the shell in the bridge and he said, Fire! Which is German for a fire. And this shell went 16 kilometers through the air and it landed on this house of ill fame where at that very instant old Jean-Pierre Higgins was in the throes of heterosexual pleasure with this Arab lady. Well, you can imagine Swanage cover. Ceiling came down, windows blew in, bed broke to the ground. Chaos, absolute chaos. After ten minutes and the dust had settled, Fatima opened her big black eyes and she looked up at old Jean-Pierre Higgins. She says, do that again. <laughs> But the Maulam, Pool Art Centre and places beyond the LDs of a Christ's sake is all.